malfeasance and regulatory events. Previously, he served as managing director and chief legal officer of the ER Capital Group. He has also held prior roles at East Capital Advisors, McAndrews, and Forbes Holdings, and this guy has too many jobs. Uh, <laughs> Skaden, Art Slate, Mayor, Megan, Mayor, and Flom. Okay, cool. Hopefully, hopefully I didn't uh, insult Major or Flam. if you're here. Apologies. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, uh, Mr. Tusi spent his childhood years uh, living in the Morris Heights section of the South Bronx after his family immigrated here from Iran. He has also been a lifelong soccer fan and player. Mr. Tusi received a BA cum laude at, in philosophy uh, with a minor in mathematics from Cornell University in 1991 and a JD from Columbia, Universi Columbia University School of Law in 1994. This guy's been doing this for a minute, bro. He's crushing it. He is a member of South Bronx United Advisory Council and has been a supporter for more than a decade. Please welcome the 2023 Annual Benefit Honoree, Sina Tusi. Because uh, I, I do, I was a soccer player, but uh, you know, uh, and even today I'm in the over 70 geriatric league, but I still, I still play soccer. Uh, so, but thank you, Chris, for that introduction. Thank you to all the friends and, and colleagues that are here. It, it truly is, uh, 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 you honor me by being here. And so thank you for, for coming. Um, thank you to my family, to my wife, Elizabeth, who has been a staunch supporter of me, but also of South Bronx United. My daughter, Ariana, great soccer player in her own right, and my son, Cyrus, who plays soccer as well. Um, but thank you all for coming here to celebrate the remarkable organization that is South Bronx United. Uh, to be present here today uh, is truly remarkable because, as Chris mentioned, South Bronx United uh, holds a special place in my heart. My family and I, and my sister who's here as well, we all emigrated from uh, Iran when I was two. We lived there uh, in the South Bronx for nearly a decade. So I know firsthand uh, that despite the rich cultural diversity of people from Europe, from Africa, from Latin America, and from Iran, you know, the Bronx grapples with some of the uh, you know, critical lack of resources and government support, which is why the presence of, the S of SBU in the heart of the South Bronx is so vital. Over the course of a decade, SBU has been an integral source of resources for thousands of children in the area. Today, it caters to over 1,600 children from preschool to high school, and the numbers themselves speak volumes. The SVU students, despite a 59% high school graduation rate in the South Bronx, there's a 100% graduation rate for SVU. <laughs> where there's a night, they have a 93% college admissions rate compared to 56% for the South Bronx. <laughs> and a 59% college graduation rate compared to just 10% in the South Bronx. <laughs> These amazing statistics reflect the extraordinary dedication and unwavering efforts of the SBU staff led by Andrew So as well as the exceptional teachers and volunteers who make SBU run. Recently, my wife and I, uh, we had the privilege of witnessing this uh, for the um, first hand. At 6 p.m. on a recent uh, Wednesday evening, we visited a classroom filled with high school students, all seniors working on their personal statements for their college applications. It's a packed classroom, over 30, 40 kids. The students asked us thoughtful, insightful questions on the application process, our experience in college, and even about graduate school. In smaller groups, the students then shared their essays they were working on. It was really an honor listening uh, to their writing, to hear their voice, and more about their journey and their ambitions. It was also an honor to meet the teachers there, um, uh, the, and the volunteers and witness their unbelievable dedication and devotion to their students and to the mission of SBU. Spending time in that classroom 
getting to know the, the driven, intelligent kids reminded me again of why SBU is such an extraordinary organization. Yes, it's a great resource for families, a place for kids to play soccer, it's all that, and receive educational resources. But, but more than anything else, SBU is a place to feel connected to your community, to feel, to, to feel known, to feel like you belong. That is something intangible yet so powerful that will stay with these kids long after they graduate. And it's what's helped to drive the success of the SBU program. Uh, before I conclude, I want to say a word about Andrew So. I was introduced to Andrew by a fellow trustee, John Asadi, when we played soccer on 97th and 1st. John said, you've got to meet Andrew. He's starting a charity in the South Bronx. Andrew? I said, that aggressive jerk who keeps following me? <laughs> John said, yes, Andrew, and, and you really have a lot of temerity to complain about how others considering how you play. <laughs> The truth is, was Andrew was a great soccer player, so maybe I was a tiny bit jealous. But once I got to know him off the soccer field, I was even more impressed with his character. A brilliant Stanford graduate who has remained unbelievably committed and dedicated to, the work, to his work and to the Bronx community. I've been sold on Andrew uh, and SBU for over a decade, and I'm grateful to be part of this organization. Please help me in thanking Andrew and the wonderful staff of teachers and volunteers uh, at SBU for the amazing work they do. Another hand for Tina Tusi, everybody.